Okay, so we have a, a nice big dandelion here. That doesn't necessarily mean the root's going to be big. I hope it is, but we'll just have to dig and find out. Uh, of course, I've got this wire in the way, so it's going to be a bit difficult, but we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, let's see what we've got here. All right, so oh, yeah. that's not a bad route, not a bad route. And of course we've got all these nice greens on it, so we can cook those later too. Great, so let's see what else we can find in the way of dandelions. That's a good one. So and now I'm just, um, just scrubbing off the dirt from the, uh, from the roots. Uh, I'm going to separate them from the leaves and we'll, we'll wash those separately, but uh, these are the roots that we're going to be using today. And cut the roots off. So I have a, um, a whole collection of dandelion roots here that I've been gathering during the past week. Uh, these ones are the ones we got today and you can see that the ones that I got a while ago started to shrivel up, but that's fine, they're, they're still all good for the same purpose. So what I'm going to do now is to grind them up into a, a much smaller. Oh, what have we got here? I'm going to grind them up into into something much smaller. Um, what they need to look like after after I've finished is is like um, brown rice. That that's that kind of texture. So I'm going to put some into here and just grind those up, and I'll do it in two separate loads. Now sometimes I, I have huge piles of, of, of dandelions and it takes quite a long time to grind them all down. But today we just have a small tray's worth. Alright, so well, let's get going on this. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, this is, this is ground down very nicely right now. Now I can show you what we've got. See, it looks, as I say, somewhat like brown rice. So, <clears throat> now the, the next stage of this, since it is all fresh, is we need to dry them out, dehydrate them. So I'm now going to put them into an oven, which is about two, 220 degrees. I find that's pretty good. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you dry them out, you can dry them out in the sun, you can just leave them sitting on the side for a couple of days, however you want to do it. But I find that in a 220 degree oven for about an hour gives me what I want. And uh, all I need to do then is just check it once in a while, stir it around to make sure that uh, it's drying evenly. Okay. The oven is turned on to 220 degrees and I'm going to let it sit in there for about an hour. So we'll check it every 20 minutes or so to stir it around and as I say in about an hour they'll be dry enough to start roasting. Alright so at this point our roots are nice and dry. They've been in there long enough so that they've really dried out. The next thing we need to do now then is to turn the heat up and let me see, bake 330 degrees. Now, you can do it 330, 350, it's entirely up to you and it's up to your oven. You've got to really learn what your oven is gonna, gonna do with these things. So, it's a matter of ex experimentation. Anyway, um, I could wait until the oven gets warm enough, but I don't really need to, because they'll just do some further drying out before they start roasting. Put it back in there and I'm going to check it in about another 20 minutes to see how it's doing. So the coffee's been in there for about 40 minutes now. I've checked it once already and stirred it around. I'm about to check it again. So we'll see how it looks. Okay, well, if you want to come a little bit closer and have a look at this, uh, you'll see that it's gotten quite a bit darker. And uh, it's looking very close to being done. Some, some areas are, are, are looking a bit darker than others. Some of it is a little bit too light still. So I think I'm going to put it in for about another 10 minutes. But I will be checking it very regularly now. 
I'm waiting for this point where you start to see the wisps of smoke coming off it. And at that stage, it's pretty much ready. And by the look of it, I would say it's, it's coming pretty soon now, five or ten minutes and it should be ready. So let me just put it back into the oven for a little bit longer. So you, you can just see the, the wisps of smoke coming off it. Um, actually, I've had it out long enough now that the wisps have stopped, but it, would, it was just starting to smoke, which is what we were looking for. So you can tell by the, by the colour and the look of it that it's now ready. I've put all the, all the dandelion coffee grounds into a jar and now it's ready to use just like regular coffee. The difference is that this, it, it tastes somewhat like coffee, it's, a, it's like a combination of coffee and chocolate and caramel, it's really a delicious flavour. But unlike coffee, this does not have any caffeine, How, which means you can drink it late at night. But it is so delicious that I, I get hooked on it, I, it's almost like it, it, it is um, caffeinated. It, it certainly gives you an energy boost, I can tell you that much. Anyway, so we have a, a pot of water on the boil here. And I say on the boil because it does need to be boiling for this particular way of making it. And what I'm going to do at this point is to put three teaspoons of a coffee for two cups. It may be enough, it may not be enough, we'll just have to find out. Once you put the grounds into the boiling water, you'll notice that it goes a deep amber colour. After about 15 to 30 seconds of boiling, it will go a deep rich brown, which indicates that it's ready. So at this point you can turn the heat off and allow it to sit for a while to allow the grounds to settle, or you can do what I do and simply use a tea strainer. Right, so I've, I've let the, uh, the grounds boil up in the water for about uh, 30 seconds, that's all it really needs, 30 seconds to a minute, until it goes nice and deep in colour. And as you can see, it really is very deep. Put some in here too. Unfortunately, some of the, the, the volume of the liquid boils off, so I may have to add water to... Uh, Stretch this out to a full cup. But in the meantime, the aroma is unbelievable. It's really delicious smelling. Mm -hmm. And all it needs now is some milk. Well, let me just test it. Now, to start with, you want to see how it came out? Can you see that? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. That is exquisite. That is so good. Mm. Oh, you've got to do this. You really have to try this.